brought up moderate Muslims earlier. There are a lot of Muslims that don't want to live under Sharia, but you're bringing down literally a death sentence to yourself or your family if you come out and speak about it. Right. For a Muslim to come out and say that, let's just say a Muslim converts to Christianity, and then they come out and speak about that. Well, they've committed apostasy, and either themselves, they are uh, in danger, sure. or their families back at home, if they have ha families overseas, they're in danger. So there's a lot of Muslims that uh, that just don't want to talk about it. They're Muslim in name only, but they don't want to live under Sharia. The problem is, from a national security perspective, I would challenge anyone, how can you tell the difference? In other words, if Islamic law obliges Muslims to lie in order to further and advance the jihad, I've been at this for over 10 years, and if I can't tell the difference between somebody that adheres to Sharia and, or somebody that um, says they're Muslim and somebody that's a jihadi, yeah. just be based off their words. I can if I start asking questions and I start learning more about their background, but not just on the surface. Right, and the difference is, is a little more drastic than, let's say, someone who says they're a Christian, but they're actually a Westboro Baptist with 14 members, and uh, they're going to be annoying and put a God hates flag signs outside of a, a soldier's funeral, which, you know, I love to see them get their ass kicked, any good American does. Big difference from blowing people up. Hey, thank you for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel right down here if you're not already subscribed. If you want to see more of our UTT videos, just click here or here and sign up for our newsletter and join us. Let's put freedom back on the offensive where it belongs.